Hi guys, welcome back to another how-to tutorial. Today's tutorial, we're just going to be jumping straight off when we left off last time. Um, now that we have all these geometric masses and shapes and objects, this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add environments and materials to them. So we'll start off with the environment. First things first, we want to open up our material editor by clicking M on the keyboard. Which will open up this screen here. And to start off with, we want to find, go down to maps and go OSL. We want to click this HDRI environment and drag it into this view one portal here. This will give us a range of already imported, inputted environments that 3ds max has uh let's just pick one at random this one looks good now that we have this as you can see it doesn't really do anything if i click here and drag it onto the viewport nothing really happens so what we're going to do is go to rendering up the top of our page go down to environment and we're going to have this window now and what we're going to do is drag this all the way over to here which is none we're going to input that in instance sure get rid of that move this out of the way for a sec as you can see now we have our environment like this and we have our floating objects here um now i'm going to show you how to add materials to these objects and what we're going to do let's move these here for a sec what we're going to do is scroll down this material map browser all the way to the bottom and through this max actually provides you with a few default materials to start off with or sample materials as it says here so we'll start with this one. This is a like a ceramic almost. And then there's other ones like metallic. This is a brushed metal. So we'll put this one on our blocks. Oh. Try this one, the polished. Right. So it's very glossy. And then for our bent pyramid, let's let's add a glass material. So you can see it's translucent, almost invisible, if, unless you get the right light. So that's pretty much the basics there, guys, on how to add materials to your objects. Thank you for watching. 